I do better with the microphone, don't you think? Yes, you do. Yeah, but it's working, sort of. All right, so you can, yeah, you can plug the sidebar. Um, so, so my project is the impact of StarMap, and I'm still kind of. You have to shout. I'm still kind of working on some of the bugs and stuff, yep. but um, so this is kind of a demo. I have. Um, basic information for each constellation is divided from there. Um, and I have different objects within each, uh, each, within each constellation, um, asterisms, um, stars, and the idea is that they'll all interconnect with each other so that they all lead back to each other. So can you navigate from the map? Um, a little bit. I'm, so I'm still kind of working on it, but um, I've gotten a little bit of it to work. And one of the things that I found is that um, you have to be very particular about the kind of text that you're using. The kind of what? The kind, like the font that you're using when you're actually typing it out. It only likes certain fonts for some reason. So you're big, this is like you're editing the SDK. Yeah, so... so you're spending all your time... Um, I haven't spent as much time with it quite recently, but... Um, you're in that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You need to edit that thing. So most of this ends up being the actual image, and then if you go down to the bottom, you can see where um, it takes a while to load because it's so much text. Yeah. But you can see like where um, the actual, you basically go in and have to find the individual paths and then um, put uh, code around it to tell it to turn it into a link. A little bit. Yeah. Um, and it's getting there? Yeah. Okay. Um, one of the things I haven't quite figured out though is I have all of the information saved into Excel documents yeah. and I'd like to be able to tag everything or like have it tag everything beforehand. So like if I import a list of stars, I want it to be able to tag according to the constellation, which I have listed in there, but it doesn't want to pull from that for some reason. Show me your info. Um, yeah, okay. um, so I have a workable document here, and um, so like I can tag it with, I can tag a star yeah. with um, stars. But I have to individually go through and tag it according to the constellation, and I can't. So you're getting, you're not able to get multiple tags to work. Um, it's okay with a tag if I type in the name specifically, but each, if I do that, then I have to make different Excel yeah. documents okay. for each. Um, so the solution to that, um, same as the we did last night.
Portable microphone works. Yeah, it sort of works, right? Okay. And then we'll we'll stop and I'll sit with the GPU and see if there's any questions. So what do we got going here? So I guess the best thing of what it'll look like is it's a mess, but this is but this is what um each tile is gonna look like in the dungeon and then you'd have the navigation. And I'm trying to get the navigation to work uh, similar to this where the center would be wherever you are, and then you can move up and down. So this is my spreadsheet for eventually, if you look at the navigation here, it changes the go from Tiddler, and then it's green 24. Mine would be the A1 and then N. Uh -huh. So I need to have a third one, which would be the direction you're facing. And for each one, so it has the tile, which would be the background, the direction you're facing, and what arrows are showing up, so where you can actually navigate to. And then over here would be whether or not it's explored, uh, and then there's gems you're supposed to pick up, which would be the point of the game. And this is whether or not you pick them up, but I haven't gotten to that okay. part. So what you're seeing, so this was similar to what So we want to come back and fly go to the left. But yeah, so this is basically trying to, so what Brandon's trying to do, I think, is imagine a game with a two-dimensional spreadsheet for specific weaknesses that can then operate in four dimensions, right? So it's like, you kind of have to, it's a really interesting challenge that you've got. It's like, you've got to imagine it here and then make it work navigationally there. Um, and you can't make SVGs into buttons. Wiki Wiki doesn't like you doing that. You can make them links, but you can't actually have them buttons. So all of my actual buttons are sitting over them. I just made them invisible. Yeah, that's, <laughs> so you can do it. Yeah, so the button, the button itself is invisible, but the SVG is just on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's quite the best thing. So Michael, explain the viewer. The game. Pretty much after finishing installing a game uh, last night, I decided to take a look at it. I noticed that there was literally an area in character creation called tags. 
and I decided to experiment with it and in actual practical use, it basically you will pin yourself to say barbarian scholar or okay, mis, uh, divinity original sin too. Okay. And Are you as familiar with the feature of this tag feature? Pretty much what it does is during certain conversations, uh, if you would have a certain tag, you can uh, change how the dialogue will go. Essentially, if you have a certain variable on your but when you reach a certain tiddler, you can branch off to a different uh, way to progress. So I think what this means is that you accumulate certain characteristics Pretty much. in your present state. And depending on what your present state is, various things are going to go on your present state. How would you do that? So he wants to, as you're moving through state or time, you might want to add certain characteristics. So like you hear you do a green, and then the next thing you become, I don't know, powerful. And the next thing you become a different class or a different race. So your current state has a set of tags. How do you do that? Well, it's just based on it, it was really just something I noticed. I'm not, I don't plan to build anything off of this. You're not going to build this? You, I just said it was neat that it's an actual practical example of how of what we're learning. Okay. How yeah. it, it's a professionally made game, how, but it still has the uh, trappings of hypertext. Yeah, most all games do. But I mean, in a way that is very blatant and that no one can mistake for something else. Generally, when it comes to other things, someone can say, no, 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 it's this. So, so their expression is that the rooms are mostly time-based, right? What's the difference? Um, if you're going based on the room, you can just do open different things and things like that. But if you want to go based off of time, you have to track that in the background. So you're able to start up and then you can clear up and then say when Oh, I see. So actual time, not time in your program, not terms. Yeah. Okay. So games run on time? I think so. Right? That's, yeah. I, okay. Yeah, so that we, yeah, but if you did it, I think, I think Michael's idea was more room-based. More location-based, more state-based, which is not time. So it's not fixed, it's... What he's talking about with time-based would be more a game called Animal Crossing? Where it would tap into the system's internal clock right. and change certain aspects. So, yeah, if you, I think you should build that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna um, say what I have. All right, so let me um, let me walk around. Um, I will create a form for each of you to sign up for a time for that showcase. Right, the um, the one that we're gonna do on our own the last week of class for those two dates. Um, and I'll ask you for like a title and a link. And even if it's not there yet, you can just go ahead and create the MP1 and then populate that link when you get there. And that way we'll be able to have a program for people to, to follow along. Okay, so each one of you will get to present that during that last week of class and have something to show. Okay, um, James, you might want to produce that more specifically so you and I will talk about that. Okay, no problem. All right. So I think we're done for the day. And I still, I think I need video links from you. Um, probably I'll get you some. Yeah, for the past couple of uh, sessions. Okay, no problem. Okay, catch you later. Hey, bye.